We're the Elmore family, and here's our story. So we are at Divine Mercy Sunday. We are in the Easter season. We can feel the joy and the love of the risen Lord. What is a saint? It's a holy person. A holy man or woman? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And then what's the communion of the saints? It's the holy people united in heaven, purgatory, or earth. Good job. The gospel this week is from John chapter 20. And Jesus is about to meet all his friends who abandon him. And it's a moment they are dreading. So let's cover the forgiveness of sins because guess what? Mm -hmm. You're prepping for your first confession oh, yeah. coming up soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we better cover this, right? Yep. But what does he come and say? He says, peace be with you. And he doesn't say it once, but he says it twice because he means it and he wants all of his friends to feel that peace and he wants us to feel that peace. Jesus said that to his apostles that the sins you forgive will be forgiven and the sins you retain will be retained. Dad thought, and I thought that a good way to prep for your first confession mm -hmm. would to be role playing. So dad is actually all ready for you upstairs. You're gonna walk in like you would a confessional and you're gonna prep for your first confession, okay? Um, that's gonna be kinda horrible. Um... Good evening, my son. Come take a seat. Let's start with the sign of the cross. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. What do you say? Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. Great. How long has it been since your last confession? Um... <laughs> this is my first? This is my first confession, yes. Okay. So go ahead and list your sins for me. Um, I was just <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> so the priest, you're gonna tell the priest your sins, yeah, right? Uh -huh. And then he's gonna maybe give you some advice on how to help you not sin more, oh, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. And then he's going to ask you to say an act of contrition. You know what that means? Yeah. yeah. And so you'll say the act of contrition, basically promising that you won't sin anymore. Mm -hmm. And then he'll give you um, absolution and they'll give you a penance to do, right? Mm -hmm. they tell you what to do and what prayers to say. Yep. Awesome. Jesus has come for peace and reconciliation. And what a more beautiful way to celebrate that by going to confession. Jesus says in the gospel this time, two times, peace be with you. And I really think that in my journey as a Catholic, the most peace I've received is leaving the confessional. When you get to unload all of your sins and drop it off there mm -hmm. and get forgiveness from Jesus and from the priest. Mm -hmm. That's the most amount of peace I think you'll feel. St. Augustine said that the peace that he is speaking about is the tranquility of order. It's peace between our relationship with God. It's between our relationship with others. And it's the peace that we have in ourselves. So our challenge for you this week is to go to confession, feel that peace, and be immersed in this Easter season of love. Join us in this great adventure of family at ilovemyfamily.us. And we'll meet you in the Eucharist this Sunday and know how truly and deeply God, God loves you. you. Okay, now go do a rosary and 10 Hail Marys for how awesome your dad is.